Hey guys, it's me Charlie. Today I'm going to be using all of the most viral products and the most like popular products that I have doing my skincare and makeup. Yeah, let's get started. If you haven't already, please subscribe and like this video. So I have already cleansed with this. This is the Glow Recipe, the Blueberry Bounce Cleanser. This is really nice. It's really gentle on your skin and like it gets all your makeup off or you can just use in the morning and it feels really nice. The only thing I would say about this one is that it like it leaves my skin feeling a little bit dry like so I have to put serum and like moisturizer on straight away after I use it. I put on my next skincare steps anyway so and it smells pretty good too. It feels nice and fresh. Ooh. Oopsies you guys. I accidentally okay. Well moving on. I accidentally pumped it out on my hand because I thought I undid something. But it smells nice. But yeah, I would rate that like an 8 out of 10 because everything's good except it leaves my f my skin feeling a little bit irritated afterwards. But then once I put all my skincare on, it's fine. I don't have any like super popular toners, but the toner that is really good that I use, it's, I think it's me. It's the Dermalogica one, the Micro Pore Mist, the Tiny Mist. This stuff is so good, you guys. I'm going to try and make this viral because it's not viral, but... Let's try and make it viral, guys. Go out and buy it and then, like, just say to all your friends about how good it is because it's amazing. I actually love it. Okay, so we've done our toner. So, um, also, I'm going to use, I know, I'm not going to use it on my face, don't worry. The Spider Attracting Cream, you guys. It's the Sotter Today, the new 59 Bum Bum Cream. But I'm just going to use some of that on my hands. Yeah, and then I'll put some on my body when I've finished everything. But this, I actually, like, I rate it, like, a 10 out of 10. It smells amazing. The smell lasts so long. And it smells so nice. And it's so moisturizing and thick and just amazing. Next skincare step I have is this, which did go viral. Um, and it's one of my favorite products. I use it every single day. This is the Snail Mucin. It went viral on TikTok. It didn't go popular, but it went viral, if you know what I mean. Like, lots of people were, like, talking about it, but not everyone, like, bought it. So, yeah, it's so good. It's like an essence. Like, I don't... I never know if, like, I should use this before or after my serum because they're both kind of the same consistency, like, the same thickness. So, I just kind of don't worry about which one I use before or after. So, I'm just going to rub that in. It's so nice and it's so hydrating. Like, you guys don't even know. It's, like the most hydrating thing. It leaves my skin so glowy. So, next is serum. These are the two serums that I have. I've actually never used this. Um, this is the John Kelfer. This is actually night serum. So I'm just showing this because it's popular, but I'm actually not gonna use it because I haven't really looked into the ingredients in it. Also, this is a 10 out of 10, you guys. Like, it's beautiful. But yeah, I can't really rate this because I've never tried it, but I don't think it has very good ratings. Honestly, the Glow Recipe Dew Drops, these are what I'm going to be using for serum and they're literally so amazing. I rate these, they smell like heaven. I'd rate them a 9 out of 10. I don't know, I don't really have a reason to like bump them down from 10, but I just feel like they don't really deserve a 10. I, I'd rate them a 9. Oh, I'd say they're a tiny bit overpriced, but yeah, they're really good for skin prep. Like, I, they're good for primer. I find but I've got another product for primer you guys but I'll show you that like later they smell so good oh my god my serum it's so I look so glowy next is moisturizer and I feel like it's not really a popular or a viral product but it is from the same snail brand because I actually don't use this a lot because it doesn't it's not very good I don't like it you guys but I'm gonna use it today for you guys because I don't really know if it's for my skin type look at that though that's so satisfying look anyways I don't really think it's for my skin type and as soon as I put it on because I've got dry skin as soon as I put it on like I like if I just like put it on at night and then 10 minutes later I, my skin feels like it needs more moisturizer. I just keep putting it on and it's like, yeah, it's not amazing. But while you have it on, while it still feels like it's on, it feels really good. But also I think it's for oily skin because I don't really know how oily skin moisturizer works, but dry skin moisturizer like has to lock in the moisture for ages and I've got such dry skin. Yeah, I think it might just be an oily skin moisturizer. So it might be good for people with oily skin, but for me, I'd rate it like, 
6 out of 10 for me. Because it still feels nice. Like right now it feels nice and my skin looks really glowy. But it's called the Advanced Snail 92 All-in-One Cream. Next, moisturizer. So my mum is in Sydney right now and um, this one is a bit empty but I can still get some out of it. And she took my full one. But it's fine. This is the La Roche-Posay. It's 50 plus. The sunscreen. Um, it is so good. It's so lightweight. And it, I don't even know, it's so good. Now, like I said before, I know that there's more popular sunscreens, like the Super Goop one, I know is really popular. And I think Star Fridays has one that's popular. I'm not sure. It's so nice. And this is pretty popular. I don't know if it's just popular in Australia or in the rest of the world, but I know it definitely is very popular in Australia. But it doesn't leave a white cast at all. But also, while I'm doing sunscreen, more popular products these two this one i love this one is all right i'd rate this a five out of ten and this like 7.5 but these i do really like so i'm going to use these while i'm just rubbing in my moisturizer but i'm not going to use my bronzing drops because i've got something else that i'm going to use after but i'm just going to mix these a bit with my moist i mean my what am i putting on my face sounds good actually i wouldn't rate these i'll rate this 7.9 you guys they don't necessarily reach an eight but they don't deserve a 7.5 or a 7 or a 7.8 or a 7.7. .7. They need a 7.9. They make me look really glowy. Literally all my products make me look glowy because like 2023 and 2024 are like the years of glowiness. Look at the glow. Okay, next. I'm so excited about this product. I got this really recently. Can you guys guess what it is? It's my huge ops. So if you don't know what these are, these are like the Glow Recipe Dew Drops, but with like a tint in them. So it's like if you mix, mix these with the bronzing drops, but better. Like these are amazing. These are my favorite product right now. And yeah, they're the Watermelon Glow Niacinamide Hue Drops, the Sun Glow. They still smell the exact same. Like they still smell amazing. Like, let me smell, let me do a little smell test. If anything, these smell like stronger. Like they smell more like watermelon than these ones. Like they just both smell so good. These I rate 1 million out of 10. They're good because you can like build them up. I feel like you can put on one layer and then put on another la layer and you look more tan. But I only put on a little bit because I'm really pale. The reason I don't like the Junk Elephant Bronzing Drops is because with like people who are super pale, they make them go orange. Like me and my friend are really pale and both of us look pretty orange when we put on the junk elephant ones but these they blend out so nicely i think because these ones are a serum so they blend out better and they just look nicer but yeah so i actually don't know if you can use these as a primer but these ones you can use it as a primer and they're basically the same but this has tint so i always just use it as a primer and it works really well so our last skin prep is done well i'm gonna put this on uh my lineage lip mask which i love this is in berry it's so good and it is so moisturizing it's just amazing i really want to get the lip balms in the squeezy tube so i can bring it around because i feel like i can't bring this around because if i lose it i'm gonna be so upset i'm gonna i would be upset if i lose the blue lip balms as well but also like in public like dipping your finger in like you'll have to on your fingers and stuff this is like a 9.5 out of 10 it's really good the smell is to die for the only reason why i do 9.5 is because like it is a bit overpriced like vaseline is good too like i do think this is better than vaseline but like vaseline is amazing as well um but like the set it smells a bit artificial if you think of like something strawberry scented that's what it smells like i'm gonna do this it's the rare beauty under eye brightener um so this is in shade light it's really nice it's like light coverage I, i'm pretty sure this went pretty popular um last year but yeah it's like really nice and also it's light coverage it brightens the little ball like because it's metal it's got a metal applicator which de-puffs you as well which is so good because i wake up very puffy like oh i could literally just like put this on my face all day because it feels so nice and i know it looks really light now but it blends out super nicely i love Ray Beauty so much 
and I love Selena guys and I love Tail Swift and I love everyone. No, I don't. That's a lie. I actually don't like a lot of people. I'm going to blend this out and then I'm going to rate it. But also 2023 and 2024 all about beauty blenders. Like brushes have gone in. Everyone is using beauty blenders. So we're going to use a beauty blender to blend this out. I usually use a beauty blender for foundation and things like that. I use a foundation brush and then I go in with a beauty blender afterwards to smooth it all out. But I feel like I don't really have patience for a beauty blender all the time. And I don't really need foundation for today because after this, in like a couple hours, I'm going to dance. So I'm just going to sweat off all my makeup anyway. This is the foundation I use, by the way, Kosas. It is in shade Cool 150. That does not look like a shade match. But don't worry, guys. It looks good on my skin. Oh, that's what I forgot to do. I forgot to wet my beauty blender, you guys. Well, usually I wet my beauty blender with this quarterly spray. I usually use it to wet my beauty blender and in my nighttime skincare routine. This one's huge. And this is just the grape water. Soothes, moisturizes. But yeah, this is amazing. It's basically just water in a can, but it soothes and it moisturizes. You can't even see that, but the mist, like the way it comes out of the bottle, it's so nice. I rate this like an eight out of 10. I love it. But yeah, this is what the Rebity Under Eye Brightener looks like. It brightens me, it lifts it. It lifts, it brightens, it makes me look awake. This is in shade light. I actually love it so much. And yeah, I rate this like 10 out, 9.5 out of 10. It looks really natural as well. So it's good to wear to school because it's light coverage and it looks natural. Next, we're going to go on to blush. So I have two blushes here. So we love the tints. I've got Bennett's hit here. Um, I'm going to use this on my lips, but I also do use this on my cheeks really often. And it looks really nice on my lips, really nice on my cheeks. But today for my cheeks, I'm going to use the Pixie on the Glow Blush. This is in shade Ruby. I actually really like this shade better than the other one that I forgot the name of, the really pink one. Because I feel like Barbie pink doesn't really suit me. But a nice, like, dark, deeper, natural colour suits me way better. This, for my cheeks, I've rated it. it, like, you have to blend it really quickly. Otherwise, it dries and it looks a bit patchy. For my cheeks, I'd rate it, like, 7.5 out of 10. And... Using this for my lips, I will write that later. But this is the, just the normal benefit, Benetint. But I'm going to go and use this, the Pixie on the Glow Blush in uh, Ruby, which I already said. You can use this on your cheeks and your lips, but it looks a bit ridiculous on my lips because I don't really wear that lip colour. Like, that's what it looks like. Like, it looks nice in the camera. I don't know. It's just not me. I'm sure it would look great on other people, but... I love it for my cheeks, so I'm just going to put my Laneige back on. You know what I really want to try? I want to try Laneige Skincare, their water bank line. It's expensive, but I feel like it would be really good for your skin. Like, I feel like it's a very clean brand for skincare and stuff. Okay, this is where I got my blush. Also, what's gone viral is the sun-kissed look, so a lot of blush on your nose as well, like all over your nose. And also if you do it in like a little C shape, like we've done high blush, like not down here, up here, you guys. This is what's been popular. And I'm gonna use a brush because that's what I use for my blush. Also cream blushes like this are really popular. I use, Also, I use this every single day. Like this is the best. I've had it since last October and look how much I've got left. Look at all that that I've got left. That's like four to five months. So if you ask me, that's like pretty good. So yeah, we definitely do a lot up here. This is for lifting as well. I feel like what's been popular is like face lifting with makeup, you know? And then on the nose, you have to get the nose. It's a sun-kissed look. And we also like doing a lot of blush for the little Sabrina Carpenter look and looking nice and sun-kissed which we love, sun-kissed and tan. I love this blush. It blends out so nicely. I rate this 10 out of 10. I, like I said, I use it every single day. Let's do some setting powder. This setting powder, the Huda Beauty setting powder. This is in banana bread. Overall, the Huda Beauty setting powder is the best. I'm not gonna use it in many places because I don't have much makeup on, but we have also been using these little triangle powder puffs and we're just putting it under our eyes. And we just let that bake. I'm just going to put it under my eyes and on my nose a little bit. So, yeah, this setting powder, it smells good. It literally smells like banana bread. It sets my makeup so good. And, yeah, I rate this, like, 9.5 out of 10 again. 
it does like if i do a lot it does leave me looking a little bit cakey so yeah like 9.59 9 for this free <laughs> beauty product i got it for christmas it's the best okay now we're gonna curl our lashes this isn't like a popular lash color or anything this one's really good though it's from sports girl um but yeah while we wait for that to bake this lash curl is so good now we're gonna brush this off um i'm gonna use this brush to just brush it off and just brush a little bit under my eyes this makes the color of my eyes nice as well my under eye brightener does lighten it a lot and then this evens it out and then i just brush what got onto the brush like just on my face like on my forehead and on my chin oh i forgot to brush off my nose that's it after the setting powder so yeah this eyelash color is a 1000 million out of 10 it's not popular but it's like amazing i'm gonna do some eyebrows now so this is the benefit eyebrow pencil and brush this is really good it, like my mum got this and like my mom got this ages ago and she never used it and she gave it to me and i was like what and it's amazing look at that i'm just gonna fill them in a little bit my eyebrows i hate my eyebrows so much okay so I've done one side, they just look a bit darker. Um, I'd rate this like an 8 out of 10. Sometimes I mess up with it, but I don't know if that's on me or on this. I like to pretend that it's on this, but I think it's just me and not having skill to do eyebrows at all. I need to tint my eyebrows again. So these are the brows. Let's do lashes now. But this is a mascara I'm using. It's a mini one, but it's Charlotte Tilbury. The push up lashes, the pillow talk one. Personally, my favorite one is the Ilia, the limitless lash mascara in the lengthening one. But it's not popular, so I'm using this one. But this one is, in my opinion, I don't like it at all. And it runs a lot. Like it looks nice. It looks nice, like sometimes, but it just runs so much. Like if I sweat the tiniest bit, I literally look like I'm in like a teen drama. I'm getting my little close up mirror so I can do it. I always say like people are always like oh you're a perfectionist and i am with things that i like like right now i'm a serious perfectionist with my lashes like i totally am if they haven't curled enough i'm like ditching my eyelash curler out the window or like curling my lashes like a million times with my makeup and stuff i am kind of a perfectionist with things i don't care about i'm obviously not a perfectionist because i don't care about them but for things that i do i'm like a serious perfectionist so this is what they look like i got i need to clean them up it they look really natural and nice but it just it runs a lot that is one side they look nice they look natural and they like i said it just runs and it looks horrible like 30 minutes in so i've done the lashes they look really good actually so i would rate this a five out of ten next is this is one of the last steps i think it is the last step of my makeup but then i've got some other things this is the rare beauty highlighter the powder highlighter for me personally i don't really like like cream highlighters and liquid ones i don't like them on me they look so good on other people but i just don't like them on me um unless i were to doing like a really natural makeup look with like no other makeup but yeah this is in enlighten and it's the lighter shade this one's really hard to get it's in the little pebble thing and it's so nice it's so pigmented it's so nice i love it so much look like just look at that oh my gosh rare beauty i love you the reason why i'm using this is because this kind of went viral but the one that went like really popular and really viral is the liquid version of this another one that i really do like using is the fenty one in like the hexagon shape but my mum took it to sydney with her because i said she could and it's a really nice one one million billion trillion out of ten letting you know i've got one more product one more product to use next product is my Sodigenary 40 this is my favorite scent or Sodigenary. it's so good running out which is really sad but mk beauty sent me this one and they smell like the exact same but yeah but i'm gonna use this oh which one should i use you guys both of them i rate 10 out of 10 and i'm gonna use this one just because like i don't want to use this up and i'm not going anywhere like straight after this i'm gonna dance later but yeah so i'm gonna use this one okay guys i totally forgot about lips so i'm gonna do a little lip combo right now um what i'm gonna use is my charlotte Tilbury lip liner 
I need to sharpen it because I need a tiny bit more. I love the look of this. I feel like this lip liner just really suits me. Also, like this is 10 out of 10. Basically, all my Fofty products, products like, have really high ratings. Let me just go get my other one. So, this is the Gisu Honey Lip Oil. This isn't the Honey Shimmer one, but I tried the, honey, the Shimmer one, and it basically just looks the exact same. But this is so nice. It looks really nice. I like the yellow, like, tone. <gasps> Before I put that on. I just felt like I dubbed that one. Also, we're going to use some Benetton. Because I promised you guys I'd use some on my lips. So, I'm going to do a couple dots. Like, a little bit and tap that in. It's really nice. This lasts a long time too. And you can layer this like crazy. Which is so good. I love products that you can layer to make it look thicker. 10 out of 10 for my lips. And then this... I love the yellow hint to it. Like, I don't know. I thought I wouldn't like that it looks yellow. But I do. I rate this a 9 out of 10. Cause just because of the smell. And it doesn't last a long time. But it looks beautiful. Um, I've had it since Christmas. And this is how much I've used up. And I use it like almost every day. So, it's pretty good. Yeah, so this is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm just going to take my headband off. Let me know some like video ideas that you guys want me to do. Let me know in the comments down below. Bye guys.